It's Juvenis. I'd uh, like to uh, work together um, in, um, uh, with, uh, with the FCT. You know, the FCT is a, is a, is a, is a capital of, of Nigeria. I've been in uh, your country now for a year and a half. Okay. Uh, so a little bit, but not, not, not long enough. Um, and I'm really enjoying the country and really loving the country and really live, uh, loving what we're seeing. Um, and I think that there are, if I can, a couple of areas that I think that would be good for us to be working together on. Uh, obviously, to promote the FCT as the capital of, of the great nation and of the great people. And I know that uh, having spoken to my colleagues in Israel, the, uh, the, we, we would like you to visit Israel. I don't know, have you ever, have you ever been to Israel before? I've never no, no. been to Israel. We have to, so we have to resolve that. We have to, we have to solve that, um, and um, to to visit Jerusalem, the capital, and to visit Tel Aviv. I know that the uh, the mayors who have the same state are there are, are, would very much like to to have you come visit, and would like to see you. Um, but also, I think there are some very uh, specific areas. I think that uh, one of the areas that we we've, we've had conversations in the past is. Uh, is uh, on technology, uh, creating technology jobs. You know, when people think about technology in Nigeria, uh, they think about Lagos, and we need to think about we need to think about um, Abuja and the FCT as well. To come and work with you to think about how we can set up centres where people can learn digital economy, where they can learn. You know, Israel's the startup nation, the place that has the highest startups in the world per capita, and, and to work with you to think about how we can can work on that. Area. Um, also, I'd like to think to talk to you about agriculture. Um, I think that you know, uh, agriculture in in Nigeria can provide jobs, but in the FCT specifically, you've got the most fabulous climate. Uh, you know, uh, we would we would kill for this climate with the with the with the weather to be able to to do things in those areas. Like I said, the climate here is very very commendable, so uh, it's good for us to partner in order to have a large farm that will employ a lot of our youth, make them to participate, you know. So I think that would be a major area of uh, concern. And if you can open up that channel, it will help us. And I thank you uh, that we are ready in terms of security uh, to make sure that uh, uh, visitors have a conducive environment to carry out their businesses. To let you know, our publication of embassies, government agencies, individuals, and corporate bodies who may have uh, violated the, the certificate of uh, occupancy in terms of uh, paying their grand rent. You know, people make mistake when we say pay a grand rent. Grand rent is what gives you that your full. Yeah, you know, you check in there, you said, and how much is it? Well, so many people don't pay. And when it accumulates, it becomes big. I think it's something like the 200 or something thousand dollars a year. <laughs> but when somebody has not paid up to 10, 15 years, it now looks like, ah, well, we'll get triple something. <laughs>
For enquiries, event coverage or advert placement, call 0803-360-8271-0805-787-1199. Juvenis Magazine. Inspiring the young at heart.